Good morning, my brothers and sisters, coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. I trust that God is with you today and providing sunshine wherever you're at. I know that across the country, there's different areas that have lots of precipitation, lots of things going on weather-wise, but you know what? God is in our hearts, and when he's there, it's full of sunshine. Uh, today is Thursday of Holy Week. Today is a day when Jesus will uh, continue to teach and when Jesus will have his last supper with the disciples and institute uh, the sacrament of Holy Communion. And then in the Gospel of John, it records this prayer of Jesus. And let me just share the last few verses, starting at verse 25. Jesus prays, Righteous Father, though the world does not know you, I know you, and they know that you have sent me. I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them. And the next chapter, verse chapter 18 of John, goes on to talk about uh, the, rest, the arrest of Jesus. Um, and so this is that point where Jesus comes before the Father, the disciples overhear his prayer. But his prayer is really about God uh, and the opportunity he has to continue to be with us. Um, isn't it amazing that we serve a God who, even though technically we crucified him, even though it was our rebellious hearts, it was our sins uh, that put Jesus on the cross, he still wants to be with us. He still loves us. He wants to um, fulfill the plan and purpose that God has for him, but then continue to be with us. And that's the good news today. The good news is, is that Jesus never leaves us. Uh, J Jesus never walks away. Jesus never turns his back on his on us. He is always about us. And uh, in those times when maybe we're hurting, in those times when maybe we're feeling lonely, we're really all alone, uh, that's when he's with us the most. Um, I like that old uh, poem about footprints and the fact that it, it recognizes that sometimes Jesus carries us, carries us in our darkest moments. Uh, today, I want you to allow Jesus to carry you or to walk beside you or to hold your hand or whatever the case may be, but recognize his closeness inside of you. You know, the disciples probably had it pretty good in the fact that Jesus for three years walked beside them and taught them, but we have it even better because Jesus lives inside of us. He never leaves us. Uh, he doesn't go on his own way to the next city or the next town without us. We don't ever have to look for him other than looking into our hearts. So today, be excited, be encouraged because Jesus is right there ready to, to teach you, to hold you, uh, to laugh and have fun with you. Uh, that's the kind of God we serve. Let's pray together today. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the knowledge that Jesus loves us so much that he is now inside of us and guiding us and helping us each step of the way of life. Father, we know that there's many that are hurting today, and we certainly lift them up to you. Bless those who have lost loved ones uh, recently. Touch their hearts and give them strength and give them your hope and your grace. Be with those who are currently sick and uh, facing facing dire news. Father, we just pray that you would heal them according to your will. Be with families that are waiting for news on loved ones when we can't be by, by their sides. And just watch over each and every one. Father, be with our first responders and touch them and bless them in a special way today. May they know that we appreciate them. May they, they sense our, our love and our support. And Father, we just pray for their safety in the midst of all that's going on. Father, thank you for your great love that, for, that covers all of us. Thank you, Lord, that no matter what happens here, we know we have a place for you, with you, for all eternity. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Jesus is inside of you and wants to help and guide you and hang out with you and be your friend. Just look to him when times are tough, but look to him in the good times too. God wants a permanent relationship with you. God bless you. You are much loved and appreciated. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.